Hello everybody, welcome to the Joe Show, where today we take a look at my LEGO Custom Titanic Representation Model. Hello everybody, I'm Joel, and this is my Titanic Representation Model, which I will go into a detail look on this whole thing in just a sec but first I want to show you how my splitting feature works here so you just have to remove these two vents which are kind of representat representing some of the uh, boardwalk that would have been on that Titanic now this isn't supposed to exactly represent that Titanic but the splitting aspect is supposed to represent uh, what happened to the Titanic uh, so there is a chain holding it together when you split it in half so that it doesn't completely fall apart and then if you attach it, you just put these two vents right on there, just like that. Uh, but that is the major splitting aspect, which I really want to take a look at that uh, real quick. So that's why I showed it first. But now let's go ahead and take the nice detailed look at the uh, vessel other than the splitting aspect. So starting at the bow, we just have a whole bunch of these uh, big sort of underside slope pieces. Uh, three of them on the bow and the stern. So obviously... Uh, the bow and the stern of no ship is identical, so this is a little bit off to real life. And then uh, these antennas that you see up here are kind of replicating uh, cords that would be holding up the smokestacks. And these little sort of gaps or little slit marks in these uh, Technic uh, cylinder pieces are supposed to represent the whistles, at least that's what I wanted them to represent. But you might notice a couple little weird gaps in this thing, and that is because... Uh, this whole entire thing is on jumpers rather than just being a normal build. So uh, the bow and stern are just normal uh, stud setups with nothing special. But uh, the, these are two sections that are attached right here and here. You uh, have these little pieces here uh, filling in holes because all of this is on a uh, jumper setup. So these are all about a half stud off from the bow and stern. Everything in the middle here. Uh, but I don't really mind. I just kind of came together like that. And uh, then I guess you could kind of say that's what make this, makes this build a little bit special, even while it's far smaller than most of mine. But uh, as I had just showed a second ago, the vents up here I kind of went for uh, because they kind of look like a boardwalk. But up here on the bounce stern, yeah, that kind of goes away because vents kind of looked weird there because I did try the idea, but it looked really weird raising it up that high. So I didn't go with that idea. And then um, just in case you guys were a little bit confused, this is the bow and this is the stern back here. And obviously it does not look like the Titanic exactly like the uh, Titanic actually had three smokestacks. Um, the fourth one was a dummy to show uh, more power of the vessel than what was really intended. But anyway, there is my uh, splitting custom Lego Titanic representation. If you guys enjoyed taking a look at the build or if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure that you subscribe, more this video, like this video, and turn on the notifications bell so that you don't miss out on any future uploads just like this one.